So it's something like this. Another back to back, you can say it's from units and measurement, the dimension part. So here the question is about when the fundamental quantities are changed from the regular one. So here the speed V, area and force are chosen as fundamental unit, the dimension of Young's modulus. This one is a straightforward one because you know Young's modulus and pressure, they have the same dimension or even stress. So force per unit area, straightforward, it is visible, option number one. Now let's go to the next question, question number 11. Question number 11, that is from gravitation, but yes, there is a little bit of modification involved. Now what does it say? There is a mass density of a spherical galaxy and the density varies as k by r and the distance r is quite large. So you can see that spherical galaxy extending till infinity you can assume. Now, the only difference is that the density is variable. And we need to see the time period of revolution of a small star which moves in a circular orbit of radius capital R. So it's something like this, say. Now, if we just try to see, let me assume that the galaxy is quite large, filling the entire space. Then let's say the circular orbit of that small star. So somewhere here, that is the circular orbit. Remember, this is the orbit. So here, that is capital R. Now, you know, the galaxy is something like a continuous mass distribution. But effectively, the centripetal force would be provided only by the mass which is enclosed within this radius. So the prime thing that we need to find is what is the mass of this enclosed portion. So that mass is going to be something like this. And the value of density is k by r that's given there. So let's see. That will be equals to k by r 4 pi r square dr. Limit from 0 to capital R. So what is this going to give me? This is going to give me the total mass which is enclosed within this particular sphere, the mass of the galaxy of course. And now once you got the mass, you can see GMM divided by R square, that will be equals to M omega square multiplied by capital R. So rest is quite simple, you can see the time period, the dependence is going to be T square directly proportional to capital R. So the correct option would be option number two. Let's go for the next. And the next question is something like this. This is again a very straightforward one, but from the topic magnetism and matter. Now you should remember this particular topic is not there in JE advance. This is present exclusively in JE mains and generally questions from these areas, they fall. So this information would be very vital for future aspirants. Basically, there is a permanent magnet and there is a transformer. Transformer means a temporary magnet. So the whole point is based on the parameters of hysteresis loop. Now, in that given case, for a permanent magnet, you know, it requires large retentivity and large coercivity. So, of course, the option number two would be the correct one. And the reverse would be there for a temporary magnet. Now let's go for the next one. 